Hey everyone, I'm Malia. This is Bean. Welcome to day two of Vlogmas. Today I have a very Christmassy themed video for you because I'm going to show you my Disney ornament collection that I have. So most of these were bought last year for Christmas and after Christmas. I have a few that I bought this year and then the rest were on my tree previously. So first I will start with an ornament that I bought for May the 4th from Hallmark. It is Baby Yoda in his egg-shaped pram from The Mandalorian. Next we have this Star Wars logo with sparkles on the side. This was one that we've had on our tree for a while. I have this Baby Yoda in his pram ornament that I bought at the Milwaukee Comic Con last year. He's so adorable and it's got like a faux leather material to it. We have this Christmas themed Santa Mickey keychain which I use as an ornament that we got for Christmas last year. From Box Lunch last year I bought this Santa Pooh holding a present. He's so adorable. I love him. <laughs> and then we've got the Emperor's Palace from Mulan. This is from the Disney Castle Collection. There's that. And then going right along with the Castle Collection theme. I have the Cinderella Castle from the Disney Castle Collection. And then we also have the newest edition, which is the Snow White Castle from the Disney Castle Collection. So next I have this little BB-8 cartoon animated keychain that I like to use as an ornament. I got this in a Smuggler's Bounty box back when it was still a thing. We have this that we bought this year. It's a honeypot ornament. And on the inside it's got Pooh sleeping and there's a whole bunch of honey on the outside and he's surrounded by honeypots. Also this lights up but we don't have a battery in it yet. So it doesn't work right now, but it will. The next two ornaments are my boyfriend Patrick's ornaments that he brought over to my house. So we have this Kylo Ren ornament. And then we have a Darth Vader ornament. So those add some of Patrick's touch to our tree. So next I have the Chef Louis keychain from The Little Mermaid and he's holding a crab. So I just like to put that on my tree as well even though it's technically not an ornament. We have this little aerial like 2D ornament that's like one of those little like $5 Hallmark ornaments. We have this Finding Nemo Nemo car. Look at the license plate, says Nemo on it. This I've had since I was a very, very little girl. So this is supposed to be an ornament of the Cinderella Castle on clouds. But as you can see, there's a hole in the bottom. So I actually use this as my tree topper because I had a tiny tree, but this year we upgraded to a bigger tree. But it's just this translucent, sparkly Cinderella castle on clouds. I think I've had this since I was four years old, so for a very long time. Next is another gift that I got last year for Christmas. It is this 2019 Mickey Mouse frame. 
and inside it has a picture of one of my little dinos. His name is Smush. He's like the pink version of Bean, and he's wearing a little Santa hat. So that's adorable. I love this ornament so much. It means a lot to me. So one of them that we got last year for Christmas is this little Porg ornament. It's one of those like $9 Hallmark ones that you could buy from Target. I actually saw this at Target this year. So if you want one, I'm sure you can find one at your local Target store. We have another one of Patrick's Star Wars ornaments that he brought over to my house. This is the Praetorian Guard from the Last Jedi movie. And then his last ornament that he has is the C-3PO ornament with the red arm. Very cute. I love it. Another ornament that was on our tree for a while is one that my mom bought me. It is this ornament of Groot. He's so cute. I love Groot so much. And then, last but not least, we have a ton of sketchbook ornaments from the Disney store that we bought last year before our store closed. And if you can tell, they all have tags still because we either got these as gifts for each other for Christmas last year or we bought them after Christmas so we haven't had a chance to put them on our tree yet. But this one I bought for Patrick, it is the Fantasia Sorcerer Mickey one. And it lights up. So that's really pretty. And then we have this one that I ended up purchasing for like $2. It is the Hunchback of Notre Dame Esmeralda and her goat. It's very random, but very cute. I don't know why I have that one. I just like it, and it was on sale, I guess. We got this one with BB-8 and Dio from... Well, Dio is from the new Rise of Skywalker movie, and then BB-8 is from the other uh, Star Wars movies. So they're just on, like, a metal platform. I love the droids, so I obviously had to buy that. So this one we got as a gift from my aunt for Christmas last year. This one is Chip from Beauty and the Beast blowing bubbles with tea. I love this one so much. I can't wait to put this on my tree. We also got for like $2 on clearance after Christmas. The Toy Story 4 Woody and Bo Peep ornament from the Disney Store. I love this one because I like buying ornaments of the different Disney couples. Since I uh, have a boyfriend and I'm in love and I just love the Disney couples. So I like putting those on my tree. That's why I have those ones. Another one that we got, I bought this for Patrick for Christmas last year. This is the Pooh and Piglet glass dome ornament. It's got sparkly snow on it with stars. And they're just sitting on the snow having a good time. This is another one of my favorite ornaments that we have. So another ornament that we got for Christmas last year is this one of... Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Donald in a Mickey glove-shaped hot air balloon. This is so whimsical and fun. We've got... Careful. This one that I got for Christmas last year, it is Ariel and Prince Eric in the Kiss the Girl scene. And you can see that Flounder is spitting water like a fountain and then there's Sebastian on the boat. And this one, if you can see, it says celebrating 30 years. So this is the 30th anniversary ornament for the Little Mermaid. And then I also got this ornament after Christmas last year for like $2. This is the Chippendale glass dome ornament that also has the stars and the snow on top. And then it's got Chip and Dale in their winter gear roasting acorns over a fire. 
Let's see what we got next. Another one that I got last year after Christmas is the glass dome with the enchanted rose from Beauty and the Beast. And it's got beautiful gold sparkles on the bottom. And then the rose lights up red. This is so beautiful. I just love that light up detail that it has. And now we're down to the last three ornaments. So this one I got for around two to three dollars for the after Christmas sale. This is the classic Cinderella carriage. It's a very big ornament too. I just love this. This is so pretty. And then as well for the after Christmas sale for very cheap. For my Disney couples, I got the Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip ornament, and behind them is the Sleeping Beauty book, and then this one says celebrating 60 years. So this ornament was to commemorate the 60th anniversary of the Sleeping Beauty movie. And then my last ornament is a gift that I got from Patrick last year for Christmas. It is the Ariel Flounder and Sebastian ornament in her little treasure cavern, and it's got treasure around her with a base that has like flowers and starfish and bubbles and seahorses. And the fun thing about this one is when you push the button on the bottom, the it sings. And it keeps going, too. Okay, that's enough of that. So anyways, it plays a section of the Part of Your World song. So this is definitely my favorite one. Actually, you guys, I have one more ornament that I forgot about, which you may have seen in my birthday haul. It is this glass dome Mickey head shape. And it's got all four main attractions from each park. So it's got the Tree of Life for Animal Kingdom, Tower of Terror for Hollywood Studios, Spaceship Earth for Epcot, and then the Cinderella Castle, and it's got a really tiny Mickey. And then on the glass around it, it's got different icons for the different parks. So this is an ornament that I got last year for Christmas from my grandma. So that was a last minute addition to the video. But I got a whole bunch of ornaments this year for Christmas gifts for Patrick and for myself and stuff like that. So you will see that in our Christmas gift haul the first week of January, so stay tuned for that. So that is all that we have for you today. Before we do our outro, I would like to say make sure you stick around till after the outro because we will be showing you the unboxing of the pin that we got in today's pin advent calendar from Magic Launch Bay. So if you want to see which pin we got today, make sure you stay tuned and stick around till after the outro. So that is all. What do we say to everyone, Bean? Have a magical day, everyone. Goodbye. All right, everyone who stayed past the outro, it is time for day two of our pin advent calendar from Magic Launch Bay. Look, we got it. It's in a blue package. Also, quick disclaimer, I am wearing the same sweatshirt and ears in all of the advent calendar little snippets. Yes, I am filming them on different days, but I want them all to be wearing the same outfit so that it's more cohesive. I don't know. That's just my thinking. So, I'm sorry. I'm wearing the same outfit in every single advent calendar opening. I just want to look cohesive. <sighs> Mini rant over. Time to see what day two of the advent calendar brings us. Alrighty, so this right off the bat for me is probably going to be used as a trader. It's not something that I collect. This is the Hong Kong Disneyland 2018 
pin go pin with the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. This is a really neat pin, but I do not collect Alice in Wonderland characters, so this will be getting passed on to someone else. It is limited edition of 600. So there's that. It's a pretty good pin for day number two of our pin advent calendar. But that is all. So once again, Bean and I say have a magical day everyone. Goodbye.